Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integro here, sharing another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about sending text messages from a computer. I know that sounds kind of antiquated, but there are several scenarios where you may have to send out a text message from your computer. Say you lose your smartphone or your smart device and you can't send text messages to people letting them know that you're running late to an appointment or that you're okay. Or let's say that you need to send a text message from your smartphone that you haven't lost, but you're in an area where there's poor cellular reception. Well, unbeknownst to most people, text messages are set up to integrate with email accounts. And then there are several websites that you can go to to send text messages directly to a smartphone. We're going to switch screens here. We'll start off by showing you how to send a text message from email, and then we'll move on to other methods that will allow you to send text messages when your smartphone isn't available. So from our Windows desktop, we have a Compose window open in Google Chrome. Now, as you can see at the top of the window, I've already have a email set ready to go to a fictitious number using the Sprint protocol. So what you would do if you wanted to send out a text message to someone via email is that you would get the person's 10 digit phone number. That would be an area code, uh, the three digit uh, extension or prefix rather, and then the rest of the four numbers. Once you have that information, then you need to find out what cellular provider the person is using uh, to get the message. And then you would send the email message via text um, using the app and then whatever messaging service they have. Uh, you can put a subject like you would in the email uh, and then you could type in the body of the letter what your text message is going to be. Keep in mind when you send out text messages, uh, you want to keep them under 160 characters or less and then you can hit send and it will send your text message. Now there is a graphic that I can show you that has all of the carriers and there they are. So there's all the US carriers, Altel, ATT, Boost, Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, and Virgin Mobile. So the area that you want to concentrate on is the SMS gateway because most text messages are sent out via SMS. Don't ask me what that stands for. That's just the protocol. Now Apple users will notice that sometimes it will use iMessage and that's Apple's protocol to go back and forth between Apple devices. But for most of you out there, the SMS messaging service is what you want to use and so you would keep track of what provider your friend or relative has and then you would enter in their number followed by the proper extension based on their carrier and it will send out a message via email in the event that you have an emergency that has popped up. Now what about if you can't get access to um, a email client and you just want to send it from a website. Well that's pretty simple too. There are several websites that we can go to that um, allow you to send out text messages and we're going to take a few a look at few of them. Now buyer beware like a lot of free websites out there you really need to be careful um, what service you use in order to send out text message. So the sites that you can look at are Textum at Textum.net, and this isn't considered a safe site, but if you were in a pinch, you could go to Textum.net, type in the recipient's phone number, uh, you could add in your email address as optional. You do have to know who they are using for a mobile carrier, and then you can send out their message and agree with the terms of service. Next on the list is Send SMS Now, what allows you to send out a free text message if you're in a pinch and you need to notify someone if you can't get to your smartphone. 
Next service would be texttoday.com. Uh, as you can see with a lot of these sites, with send SMS now and free text, there are a lot of ads on these sites. So beware. Be careful not to click on the ads if you have to send out a text message. Now finally, the safe and final option would be to use Google Voice. If you have a Gmail account, you could you can also send text messages um, from your Gmail or Google Voice account. So if you have Gmail, which most of you do, you have a Google Voice account. Set up your Google Voice account as an emergency, and if you are frequently in areas where there is spotty cell phone coverage, or if you're one of those people that continues to lose your cell phone, uh, you could use or log into your Gmail account provided that you set up a Google Voice number, and then you can send text messages back and forth with people, uh, letting them know that you're okay or you just want to send them messages. Now, for you Apple users out there, keep in mind that you can use iMessage uh, in the case that you lose your iPhone to send out messages from your Mac or iMac computer, uh, just like you would a normal SMS message. So those are your options for sending out text messages. Hopefully you won't lose your phone, but if you do, keep in mind that there's always a place where you can send out a text. As always, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. would love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you would like to see me cover in future videos. And speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tons of videos there at Integral on YouTube or Burton Kelso that are designed to help you get most the most out of your digital life as well as all of our social media channels, so be sure to follow Integral and Burton Kelso on all the social media platforms to keep up with the latest tech tips and cybersecurity alerts. Folks, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile, and thanks for watching.